You good to go? Until I go, Trevor, I want you to realize I hate this movie. All right, everything's good. Get hit play. Get get the scene set up, and then I'll. Because we got to do an intro to this video. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's get the let's get that audio going. I mean, like we're watching a movie. <laughs> we're watching Star Wars. Let's go. Don't forget, this is airing on May the Fourth. So you gotta be like, May the Fourth be with you. Yeah, this, this is, is all going to cut out. <laughs> I'll tell you when I'm going to start. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we're cutting this out. No, we're not. <laughs> Whatever. Are we good? You guys yes. done? All right. Hey, everybody. May the 4th be with you. We're going to be watching Rogue One because CJ's already seen all the Star Wars movies, uh, the original trilogy and the prequel. Uh, so we're watching Rogue One today, and let's get into it. Yeah. Sure. Begin. <laughs> Hit the play button. Do <sighs> you have Perfect. any idea what this is about? No. Okay. Do you is this the one you... about Han Solo? Do you remember? No, that was Solo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you remember in the fourth movie when they said many Bothans died to no. bring us the information about the Death Star? That's what this is about. And that's not in the fourth movie. That's about... the third movie that you're talking about. That's the, the when they talk about movie. the Bothans, they talk. That's in Re Return of the Jedi. That the first, the fourth one, they just say that spies have stolen them. Okay, I'm gonna take your word for it, buddy. Because you can look it up if you want. I know expert. a lot. Our I'm first not, fight. Not already, let's go. All right, here we go. <laughs> This is going to be the perfect time to tell you guys that I don't like this movie. What, you don't like this movie? I don't like this movie. Well, we're not here for you. <laughs> <laughs> Your opinion doesn't matter. Uh, Star Wars music's always on point. It is. Do you know what else's music is always on point? Don't you dare. You Sonic say, the Hedgehog. Okay. Oh my God. I, I thought, thought, you, were gonna, I thought you was going to bring piece. up One Piece, and yeah. I was like, don't you do it. Well, One Piece's music is good too, but not as good as Naruto. Sonic not. has always had a banging soundtrack in every single game. No, CJ's doing this because I said the other day that he could bring up Sonic in any conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's like, it's his goal to try to bring up Sonic in every conversation. Run! You know who can run fast? I forgot Sonic. Mads Mikkelsen was in this movie. He is. Why is this not starting out on a desert planet? Because it's not a part of the main Star Wars uh, story, uh, the Skywalker story. This is a, it's a cause side it's a, story. It's a cash grab movie. I mean, side story movie. <laughs> <laughs> just, you just hush. <laughs> and the adventure begins. What? And Rogue the adventure one. begins. Yeah. <laughs> Siege, I'm surprised you didn't even notice there was no scroll. Like all the other Star Wars movies had like an opening crawl, you know? Okay. This one didn't have one. That's because this is a it's not a part, side yeah, story. It's not a part of the main Skywalker story. He's cute. The only thing I'm disappointed in is, is like I was kind of hoping there'd be like some kind of Little shit surviving in the wilderness alone for a while, kind of like Gohan. She was. <laughs> I mean, who knows how long she was in that hole? Who? She could have been in that hole for months. You don't know. Technically, that's kind of what happened. Saws her piccolo. Yeah. You know, if you take out the Fe, you're left with Karen. It's the ring of Karen. It's going to be a lot of upset people there. Uh, a lot of people talking to people's managers. Oh, man. <laughs> Just constant, minorly inconvenienced population. One of the least exciting movies, or uh, series on, on Disney Plus, I am, like, his series, Caspian, they're making a series about him. Why? Like, I know. Like, he, he's a nothing character. Like Until you said Caspian, I didn't even know what his name was. I'm pretty sure it's 
Caspian. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't even remember his name. That wasn't identification. His name's not Caspian. It's, uh... Troopers down. Section 9. I fight it. I'll never climb out of here on my arm. Get out of the way. This is going to drive me nuts. We're just wasting time that we don't have. I need to speak to Sukarera. I keep telling them before it's... They keep bouncing all over the place. Yep. They haven't, like, set anything up as... Here's another set of characters. That you have no idea about. They're introducing you to all the players, and then... They'll come together. They're introducing you to all the players, and they're going to introduce you to more people. Yeah. Now here's another planet. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Cassian. That's his name. <laughs> I knew it was something like that. <laughs> Cassian Andor. That's and, his fucking name. And this is why making a show about him is a terrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> no, he doesn't need his whole, whole series. No. But I've no idea where he is. I haven't seen him in years. We know how. Does anybody else think it's weird that droids have like personalities and feelings and emotions, but yet they're not considered sentient beings? Well, then you have other ones that are just like A to B. Looking. Right. Yeah. Just like utility things, but then you get like C three PO and you get K two S O that clearly have a personality and emotions and. K two. Charming. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's I think not... wouldn't, they, wouldn't they be considered sentient beings? Probably. Why does she get a You know, everyone trying to get this person to make super weapons. This is what this is tying into what's happening in One Piece right now. Yeah. <laughs> you were waiting. You're just there we waiting go. on that. All our reactions are gonna be CJ He's just trying to talk about One Piece. Waiting on that. Look, Robin can translate the thing and Frankie has the blueprints to make this super weapon battleship. Oh my god. This is not One Piece reactions. CJ's just here for the moment we finally watch a One Piece movie. That's just, that's what he's waiting on. Well, One Piece is better than Naruto oh. and Bleach. Oh, you just shut your mouth. I just don't care about his character. Like, I, d I, I don't, don't either. I don't, I don't care about either. Him. <clears throat> Honestly, I think that's why I say I don't like this movie. Is because I just don't care about him. There's like, no stakes in any of these characters. I mean, yeah, they're they're stakes. Yeah, we'll wait, we'll wait till the end. Not just we'll him. <laughs> they, they all of them come out of nowhere. There's like they're they're, they're a ragtag okay. okay. group wait of rebels. Wait till the end. Wait till the end. That's the Citadel Tower. The Statue of Liberty. The Imperial Structural Archives. <laughs> That's what it looks like. <laughs> That's where the, uh, where the climax of the first X-Men movie happened. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's also the Men in Black's ultra light flash evening. Oh yep. <laughs> It's also where the kid from Jungle to Jungle, he climbs up to the top of it because he needs to bring fire back to his tribe. Uh. It's also where Kevin McAllister takes a picture of it in Home Alone 2. Yep. Yes! Which is better than the first one. So light it up, 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 light it up. <laughs> I'm on fire! Oh my god. I got one. They, yeah, they were. <laughs> them, them too. Okay. Goodbye. No, your sarcasm was much appreciated. That robot has more emotional weight so. than anyone else so far. <laughs> Pretty much what everybody else feels too. Sit in that guard. Ba 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 ba. 
All right, there it was. You seem extremely happy with how that turned out. <clears throat> so, so, did you like it? Did you hate it? Thoughts? Feelings? It is. It's the sea. Give you a moment to collect you. <laughs> See, th this is this is where my problems with movies come from. Is that they don't give you enough time. I like the like the exception would be the MCU because there's twenty the MCU, something. Yeah, there. <laughs> but like you know, you feel like, you of, feel like the story that was told in this movie could have been stretched over multiple films. I'm not sure I want that, but I'm just saying like the, all these characters. I just, it kept ping-ponging in the beginning, and then you get to the main point, and then it's like... <laughs> it's over. It's like, you don't get enough time to marinate with the characters. I think that was kind of, like, the point. <laughs> We're gonna, because these they're characters all gonna are die, all going to die, so, so like, why do we want to... Uh, here's my thoughts on the movie. I like Rogue One. I think the last... 15, 20 minutes of the movie is the best part. I like the robot. Padme died and she had three movies to get to, get to know her. That's a really good point. Anyway, the robot and Donnie Yen's character, I love them. Obviously the end. But yeah, like, I like Donnie Yen. It's just, I don't know. The, the, I've the never, battle on Scarif, I like all that. I've never really liked this movie. I'm going to be completely honest. But it's not, yeah, it's not my favorite one out of the, all the Star Wars movies. But I don't hate it. Like, I do not like Solo. This one, to me, is better than Solo. I like Solo a little more than this one, but it's still... The The problem with Solo is Solo is very cringy. Yes, it is. Very cringy. But it's not as boring as To be this. fair, I've only seen Solo once, and that was the one time I watched it, and I was just like, I don't want to watch this ever again. <laughs> but, so... Well, next year! <laughs> <laughs> so, you would say... You didn't hate it, but you didn't love it either? Oh, my God. What, 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 is there a particular part that stuck out to you that you enjoyed, that you liked? Character, part? What stuck out to me, uh, obviously, the character with the most emotional weight was the robot. Okay, 2 so <laughs> That is very ironic. That, that is like, a lot of people's feeling. They're like, they, they the, care more about the, the robot both. dying than any of the other. The, the robot when, has when, the best uh, emotional When Danny connection. Yen's character died, I like that part. I feel it was kind of emotional, like when he walks out there. Well, I... Died. And then I was, buddy, who was like a non-believer. I will say that, like, when that happened and then the buddy starts saying it, the saying, and then he goes out, and then nothing happens. He shoots like two people, and then what are you talking about? He took out all those death troopers. He took out two, and no, then he killed the like third four. one, and then a grenade rolled, and he goes, "Hmm." That's then, not the boom. point. It was the it was the <laughs> fact that he was a non-believer, and his friend was always still believed in the force, and then he dies, and then it, that rekindled his. Faith. Best part of the movie is Shannon. I didn't look like that rekindled his faith. That looked like <laughs> he gave up. I looked like he snapped and he's just muttering what his friend always said because he misses his friend. That is a really good point to be completely But anyways, honest. that doesn't matter because the best part is Darth Vader. The best part is seeing Ab Akbar show up. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I get it? <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> and I'll say it for the last time. That was not Admiral Ackbar. If he was all that, all my mouth, if he was all my mouth, calamari are the same. If he was red, it would be way worse. They did a good job by making him blue. Oh my god. What is it? Bloods and Crips? All right. Ugh. 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 Is it? Ugh. Yeah. I just feel like it's it's too boring for me. For a Star Wars movie, it's very boring. But anyways, it's just, why? Why did this need to exist? Because... Uh, Cash grab, you, that's you know, why. That part too. You know why this exists? Because if you go back and look at the scrawl, the, the crawl of uh, Empire or uh, New Hope, it goes, Rebels winning their first victory have stolen the plans to the Empire's ultimate weapon, the Death Star. And uh, John Knoll, by the way, who created uh, uh, Photoshop, went, 
well, who were these rebels, and how did they steal those plans? And then Disney went, let's make a movie. Move, money. <laughs> money? All right, what time is it?